Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. We're here in the Guardian Angel event, everybody's favorite event. Except it's actually a nighttime version, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But anyway, just before we get started here, I want to share some personal news with you guys, because it's a really proud achievement of mine. And uh, I think it's kind of relevant to the channel as well. Uh, so ever since the inception of the channel, back when I first started Krebsco, I was back in my first year of university studying pharmacy. So fast forward a number of years, I finished university, got my degree, and I sat my exam, and well, I'm proud to say, I passed my exam! I am now a fully qualified pharmacist. <laughs> and that's probably the most proudest achievement of my life alongside this YouTube channel. Uh, at the same time, it's a proud achievement, but it's also really scary because now all of a sudden I am essentially the pilot of a plane or the captain of a ship. I'm the head of a pharmacy where my co-workers and patients are going to be looking to me for the answers. It's no longer me looking towards somebody else or leaning on somebody else. It's going to be me being the responsible one. And uh, it's, it's a nice feeling, but at the same time also very scary and nerve-wracking to be... Uh, you know, ask peop about people's questions or uh, their medicines, and it's, uh, it's scary, alright? It's scary. Okay, anyway, and I just want to thank you guys for being here along this journey, because I know every now and then I've been talking about it in my videos, you know, something that I've learned or just what's going on, and here we are. I've leveled up in life. I've evolved. So, let's focus on War Thunder, because the shit gets down really quick, and in this, in Guardian Angel. Best way to get kills as the Americans is just fly straight on, don't even bother climbing because most of the time the Germans just go straight for your bombers. So uh, if you do end up climbing, you'll be going for the stragglers and before you know it, you're going to be like 10 kilometers out from your bombers and that's going to be bad because you really need to defend your bombers. But I noticed something unusual and I think I noticed a f number of dots above. See, I can see them from far away, I can't see them from close up, that's so freaking weird. All right, engaging the enemy. Here we go. Got to make some sort of passes here. So we got Mr. Fokkerwoof up ahead. Let's go for him. I still see another red dot somewhere. We damaged him slightly. Not quite what I need though. Up, up, up. This plane is so bad with, with, I don't even know. It's blackouts, dude. And I ended up killing that guy, I don't really know how, maybe he just jumped out, I, I, I only touched him. I don't know how that worked. But I haven't really touched War Thunder in about three weeks now. I have played occasionally, but not a whole lot, not as much as you guys, you addicts out there. And uh, game has changed a little bit, not a whole lot, but one thing that I noticed was that model change. Whenever you get damaged, come on. Whenever you get damaged. It shows in the bottom left, your mo plane model. And it's more detailed now. Now in planes, I'm not sure if that's a great idea because it's so hard to see when, you know, what on your wing is damaged or if your engine is even damaged. It's so freaking hard for me to tell. Is it not only... It's not only me, is it? What about you guys? Do you guys think the same? I think in planes, it should have the simple model. In tanks, uh, that model, the detailed one, is good. Imo, that's what I'm thinking. So already shot down three people, oh my gosh, I felt like I did nothing there. I mean, not that I didn't do anything, I just felt like I barely hit the enemies and they just died. That's weird. Maybe that's why most people are playing, uh, or queuing up as for the Americans. So that scape PL is chasing after somebody down there, so let me give chase. I'm just heading in this general direction of where he's turning. What? Where did the BF-109 go? Me confused. No comprehende. No comprehende where the enemy went. He's probably somewhere down there. Oh my gosh, man. This nighttime version is so crazy. It really is, because, like, it's just hard to spot people. And especially when it's daytime in real life, like it is for me right now. I've got this, like, glare on my screen, so it's even harder to find anything. Weird. I just think that that BF-109 must be still alive because they really... Unless that's his fireball down there, I don't know. <gasps> I see red. I see red. Where? Where is it? Oh, it's a... AI. BF-109. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have kept my altitude. I completely forgot about him. 
There's always an AI BF109, like, at the end of the map. Always is. Let's see, if this is daytime, maybe I could... Uh, see some contrast of where the dots might be. The enemy. Oh, looks like there's another enemy AI up there as well. Just gonna try climbing. For what it's worth. Probably not worth a lot. And... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know where the hell the enemies are. On my si on my six, Spitfire. Oh shit! Here we go. We have the fucker wolf, who is shooting down our bombers. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Where did he come from, though? I lost all my altitude for pretty much nothing. And I think he's gonna keep on giving chase on the bombers. I suppose. Hmm. Kind of sucks. I shouldn't have given up my altitude like that. I should have kept uh, kept up my altitude. In hindsight, if I knew that guy down below wouldn't have died, then yeah, should have kept my altitude. But now this guy's got literally four, five Mustangs on him. We're coming towards his general direction. I'm pretty sure we won. The bombs have been dropped. That is the place down. Oh god. The bombs have been dropped. I think they're just taking their time to make their way. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Just like that. It trickled down. Trickled down bombs. Down damage. And now that Falka Wolf is turning around. And oh gosh, look at this armada of P 51 Mustangs. Falling down on top of him. I would love to be up there right now. Taking my shots as well. But no. Instead, I had to dive down and be greedy, and then I'm getting nothing. The only thing I achieved was losing altitude. And there they go. That guy's dead. So there's still one more dude alive, but God knows where he is. So we're probably just going to end the video here. Very short one. Just letting you guys know what's happening with me in real life. Showing you how to do well in the Garden Angel event, kind of. If you call three kills well. Uh, and talking about that damage model. Yep. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dojo is local for sure. Though we pay for the rope that's opposed to the dojo. Mr. Captain.